Here are the prerequisites for this tutorial on building face filter applications for iOS using Unity. To get started, we'll open up Unity and name our project. So I'm going to call this Face Filters. I think we'll just leave it at that. Or maybe tutorial. I can spell today. I'm going to create the project. Once Unity's open, let's make this a little bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I have an assets folder and it's currently blank. So the first thing I need to do is actually import some packages. So I'm going to import the face filter package and I'll get on to open CV Unity in a second. This is something that I put together to make it very easy to do this. And there's a link in the, there's a link below. Then I'm going to import open CV which allows us to process a lot of these renderings. So OpenCV for Unity is a great way for you to make, for you to be able to process these changes. This is a, a package um, which you can download from the assets store. And we're just gonna do one thing here. So in tools, we're gonna OpenCV and set plugin import settings. This basically sets our project up. Next, we're gonna actually go and find our scene. So in here, I have folders that I've named, I'm gonna, Open up scene, face filter, sample. Then once I've done this, I can actually build for my app. So I'm going to go to iOS, and then I'm going to add the scene, and then I'm going to hit build and run. I'm going to name this iOS app. So I'm going to call, and this will create a project uh, that you can use in Xcode. So I'm going to hit save. And then the second, once everything is compiled, Unity will jump us over to Xcode. And then we're in X Xcode, we need to do two things. We need to turn off Bitcode support, and then we need to add in a setting inside our info.plist to access the camera. Once we do this, so I'm just going to think about this. We use the camera for this app to show your face and filter it. It should be fine for a demo, then we hit run. And then once the project is built, we're able to view this on our iPhone. 